Okay, I'd like to just show off um, multi-language text for Visio. Here I've just started a new sample diagram that you get in basic flowcharts. I'll just get rid of that, it's just an image, so there's no use translating that. But let's uh, zoom in here and we can see we've got in English, as you can see it's English United States here at the moment, and we've got, uh, well, text within the process shapes and we've got text on the labels and we've got page names and this is actually a hyperlink which goes through to the sub process page. So what if you have to do this in multiple languages? Uh, quite often uh, this is the case uh, within Europe or even Canada, let's say. Let's go into French. I'm going to enable multi-language text and uh, let's change it to France there. Now these are just the most recently used ones, but uh, you can go and select from the alternative languages any of these languages that are valid for Visio and we can uh, translate them automatically if we use the um, Microsoft translation service. So I'm going to go into French and hopefully I shall be able to switch into French and we should see that the text should change, the page names should change. As we can see here, conditions, through process, process, and if we uh, follow the hyperlink uh, on this, we go into the second page and we can see that this has also been uh, updated as well and go back to the first page. So we can see how easy it is to switch between languages and do an automatic translation if we want. We don't have to do an automatic translation, uh, especially if you've already translated it, then you're just wasting time. So I'm just going to switch back into English for a moment. There. And we can see that we can easily switch between the two, two different languages. Now let's add in a third language and I'm going to go to German. And again, I'm going to do an automatic translation when I do a switch. I can do translation without doing a switch between languages too by following these buttons. And so if I just uh, switch, and change it from English into German, Deutsche. We should see that now our text and uh, our uh, page names have been translated for us. So uh, if I open up the text window here, we can see uh, I can either have it going along the bottom like this or I could drag it to the side. But we can see here that I've got uh, the German and uh, the English there, or whatever alternate language you've got there at the moment. I haven't translated into Gujarati or Korean yet, but we'll show that it does handle that as well. So I'm going to go into uh, languages and, well, let's, uh, let's just switch back into English and translate from the English rather than going to English, to German, to German, to Korean. Right, I'm going to go into, let's say, Korean. And this time I will do an automatic translation. Do a switch. And we see here that we've now switched between English and Korean. And uh, we can see that the names, uh, the text has changed. Select on one of these shapes here, and we can see the text has changed. We can actually uh, put in our own values, don't not have to do the automatic translation, and then just save it into the shape if we want to. So this doing this way, it can save us having to have multiple copies of the same process diagrams, for example, and uh, in different languages. We just have the one source, and uh, we just have to update. The, the text, uh, when we're adding in new shapes, so take it away, then there's only one truth, and that is being used by everybody. If you uh, <clears throat> want to translate a lot of text, then you can go off and buy your own key from, from Microsoft. <coughs> this will take you off, and then you get your own translation service key, which you just put into there for your own business, uh, rather than using the small amount uh, that I am allowed to give you per month. Thank you.